competitors have their names written on their gi. It helps so much, especially in the lower ranks when they're coming up but through. But these are two of the best known black belts in the world right now. One of these men will be crowned the world champion, Chase. That's the way it goes. And immediately into a double guard pull. Some inversion action. This is what we come to expect from the lighter weight class. This is better, though, up on top. Takes the advantage here. As you can see from the patch, Talos and Solaris changed things up for this camp. Spent a lot of time at the art of jiu-jitsu with Guy Mendez. Said he uh, noticed some flaws in his game that he wanted to adjust, do some new things. Yeah, I found that an interesting move. Uh, but if you think about it, I mean, Talos and Suarez has been based out in Australia for the last couple of years. That's uh, where he's made his home, where he has his academy. And he's always traveled to get ready for the World Championships. And he, think, he thought that he needed to change things up for the Worlds this year. I think it was after Pans, particularly, when he lost to Bebeto on the final day. He's like, you know, I need something new. I need a, I need a nice sweep there from Bebeto. We could see the effect straight away. But he really felt that he needed something new in his game, in his approach to the Jiu-Jitsu. And we're better to go than the art of Jiu-Jitsu, really. Guy Mendez is certainly a, a one-man think tank. He really has developed so many athletes. Greatest example today being Tyna Dalper, who we'll see in a little while. But if you looked at any of the training footage we got of Talison, you would see that he had spent a lot of time focused on his top game. No surprise, Guy Mendez, incredible passing game. And uh, many of his students employ that as well. So I think Talison wanted to maybe polish that up a little bit, not saying he didn't have it before, but Definitely a great place to kind of get some pointers. <laughs> the Beto, though, making great use of both the lapel and the lasso. Tries to sneak in a deep daily heave hook. Palson defends, showing a good base. But again, really, really controlling his posture with Roberto from bottom here. I always feel as well that uh, the Talisman, his game is long, sort of modeled that of what people know from the Art of Jiu Jitsu Academy, right? Baron Bolo specialist, great leg fighter, good pressure passing. He developed that in his time training with the Cicero Costa and the Unity teams. And I feel like there's no great changes made to his style by training with Guy Mendez. But it'd be interesting to see what the adjustments look like and if there are any, if there is any difference to his strategy or his game plan as a result of his time spent at AOJ. Pepeto, it's funny actually, you see him using this grip because that was almost exactly what his opponent was using earlier, Rodney, Rodney <laughs> Jr. in the semi-final match. And Roberto had to hang out there, defended it extremely well. But just so funny to see him using the exact same grip, that lapel through the leg like that, when he spent almost the entire match in that same position in his uh, semi-final. Important to note that Bebeto is up by a, a lone advantage when they came up from the double pull. That could be very important later, should he come up for a last minute sweep. That would edge him out, perhaps a win. Talison Solaris is certainly aware of that fact. Nice work from Talison. That grip is now, it's now being released, so he's got a chance to move around the guard here. The inversion from Pepeto, tracking that movement. The moment that that lapel came loose as well, you sense the, well, the immediate accel acceleration by Talison Suarez. But look at this, man, Pepeto has got an answer for everything. 
Yeah, incredible flexibility and dexterity there from Bebeto. Holding up Towson for the moment, but somewhat of a precarious situation here. I'm sure he'd like to be into a little more of established guard. As Talos patiently works his way towards passing here. Referee will drag them into the back, uh, back into the center of the mat. They've got this absolutely huge championship mat. But they will use every inch of it. Now with this two-point lead, four and a half minutes remaining, Talson Suarez is not slowing down, but those grips, really difficult. Particularly that sleeve grip that Pepeto has. It's actually a cross-sleeve grip. But it's underneath his own legs. Compounded by this lasso on the opposite side. Better look now from Talison here. Starting to stretch out the legs. But, but Beto able to go knees to chest once more. Great retention from him. You can see Pepeto is actually using his right hand to frame and now brings his left hand into frame as well. And I feel like this is, uh, this is a sign that Talison has gained a slight edge in this pressure passing. Because we're, whereas Pepeto was originally, he was holding the sleeve to try and prevent. Now he's pushing away, he's framing. Makes me feel that there's a little more urgency from him on bottom to try and keep Talison away. You can see now he's brought his right foot over the top and into the bicep. Suarez is backing up, but... Head-to-head <laughs> -head pressure here. Interesting to see if the referee considers this to be stalling, because you need to be going forward. And you need to be, always be trying to improve your position. The crowd certainly agrees. That's exactly what they're saying, yeah. <laughs> they're asking for some action, imploring. A lot of GF team, I think, fans in here, imploring Talison to engage a bit more. They've got a pretty, pretty big contingent up there in the stands, and when they're not happy, you know about it. Yeah, Talison obliges here, dives back into the guard. This is interesting. Great use of the inversion there from Bebeto, chasing an arm. Now on the leg. Doesn't, doesn't quite have the right angle to go for the knee bar, it seems. A little off to the side. There's but a better view, yeah, now oh, you can see. Holds. This is gonna go right down to the wire as we approach the one minute mark. Beto also could use his sweep to achieve a win here, considering that, again, one advantage to his, his scoreboard. If he can use this leg attack to come on top, could score. Got an advantage for the toe holds. That will put him clearly ahead. He's got about 40 seconds to try and get out the back door and come up on top. If he can, he could win this. Talisa. Head grip will make it difficult for Pepeto to get to his feet. He's trying, he's almost up. Yeah. 
20 seconds left. This is right down to the wire here. We've got the last 10 seconds of Pepeto. He's going to try and come up. He's up for stunt. He's, he's up for stunt. Towson fights it off for now. Desperately trying to score the sweep, but the time runs out. And Towson Suarez gets the win and will take the gold medal here. The World Championships. Blue through black belts. A huge win for the young man, originally from Manaus, Brazil. <laughs> and he says, look at that, one-time world champion. <laughs>